Mountain bike racing is hardcore cycling and is a sport that I have never photographed before in 25 years as a professional sports photographer. So I travelled to Dalbeatie in Dumfries and Galloway for round four of the Scottish Cross Country Mountain Bike Racing Series. The competitors set off in groups depending on what class they are competing in and there is a wide range of ages from t under 10 to veteran. I had arrived early to scout out the course and choose my locations before the races started. Most races were three to five laps depending on the class and age group and so you only had a couple of opportunities to get the shot. This is the first sport I have shot in this series of features where I didn't need the 100-400 Fusion on as I was standing right next to the course. I used the 5140 F2A, occasionally fitting the 1.4 converter when needed, which wasn't very often. I also used the 1655 F2A and the 1024 F4 zooms during the day to give a wider view of the races. The lighting on parts of the course was very tricky with the trees providing dark areas with bright backgrounds which could fool the camera into underexposing the image. I shot in manual exposure relying on the X-T2 superb EVF to let me see exactly what I was shooting. The fast f2.8 aperture of the two Fujinon Pro zooms really came into their own in the dark conditions under the trees. I was able to maintain a fast enough shutter speed while keeping the ISO setting as low as possible in the gloomy conditions. Mountain bike racing is exciting but the competitors don't move at high speed. By choosing a slow shutter speed of around a 60th of a second some sense of movement is injected into the final image. Away from the trees, the light improves and ISO settings can be reduced. Don't forget to vary the level at which you shoot. Getting down low can dramatically change an image. The Scottish Cross Country Series is one of many championships around the UK. Visit the official website at www.sxc.org.uk for more information on the Scottish Championship and www.britishcycling.org.uk for more on the national sport and much more.